welcome to CEP Live on Facebook. I am Rachel Miss Libby, the Assistant Director of the Climate and Energy Project, and I'm here with Sarah dehart Paltico. And we are actually here live on location at the State House to give you a fun and exciting take on how to navigate the State House. So um, if you've been following our work, we have been doing regular weekly live stream videos on civic engagement. I'm actually going to get closer because it's getting loud behind me. Um, so civic engagement on various different topics. Um, so we encourage you to watch all of them. Uh, there, the intention is to help people get more engaged with a lot of different topics as we're leading up to our annual Day of Advocacy and Education, Wealth Day, which is March 15th. And you should be there or be square. And it's going to be so fun, as you can tell. It's really fun here at the Capitol um, and lots of excitement going on. So the, the first thing that you have to think about when you come to the Capitol is parking. So you can, we'll send you the address for where to go to come to Wealth Day. Um, and there are a lot of different places to park. If you're just going to be here for a little while, you can park on the street. But I wouldn't count on street parking because it's always pretty busy. Um, there's a great parking garage just um, across the way called Crosby Parking Garage. And um, we will also share some links to other parking garages in the comments. So there's plenty of places to go. But you should plan, um, it might take you maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get from your car to Wealth Day. So that said, once you come into the Capitol, you will have to go through security, which Sarah just did. Sarah, you want to talk to our, our lovely audience about getting through security? Absolutely. So um, obviously, to ensure your security and the security of everyone else that visits the Capitol, there are a few items of protocol. I always carry lots of things with me. I have bags. So what you'll do is you'll have to take your bags off and put them through the x-ray. You'll put any um, liquids that you have outside of the x-ray, and then you'll walk through the metal detector and grab your, um, grab your liquids on the way out. You can't have anything in your pockets. So you'll want to have your keys out. If you have your phone, you can either have it in your hand above your head, or you can also put it with your keys and send it through. Um, but there's very friendly staff. The security staff has been fantastic, and they will walk you through and answer any questions that you have. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, no problem. And Sarah's going to head off, I think, now, or join us for as long as she can. But she's exactly right. The security staff are very nice. Um, we were talking to the head of security just a little bit ago, who reminded us that you probably should Definitely not bring explosives or multiple guns or knives or anything that maybe wouldn't be a good thing to carry to the Capitol. If you're not sure about that, we will try to post some uh, something in the comments about what else you might want to bring, not bring. Um, so uh, we do encourage you when you come to Wealth Day to bring your own water bottle to reduce waste. Um, it's one of our uh, efforts always for Wealth Day. So um, you got here, you got to parking, you went through the security, and you're standing in this big, beautiful space and thinking, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. And then you notice right over here is a wonderful CEP employee, Carrie Bowen. Hi. <laughs> I'll be here to greet you. Carrie, you want to tell everybody what, what they would do when they come here? So when you come in, you'll check in here and then move to the auditorium for the policy briefing, but I want to make a quick note. There is Wi-Fi available here at the Capitol, and if you just look in your internet connection accessibility, look for Kansas Open, and you'll be able to connect to the Wi-Fi while you're here. Excellent, thanks Carrie. Um, throughout the rest of this video, to try to make uh, it fun and exciting and help you to maybe not get vertigo as we're walking around, we are going to have various different of our partners and staff members popping in. So thanks, Carrie, for helping everyone out. If you see her on Wealth Day, she can help. So Susie, let's go this way um, to the auditorium. Can you get the auditorium in the screen, right? And uh, this is where the climate vigil will start at 8 o'clock. And then... Hey, Rachel. Hey, Zach. How, How are you doing? doing? Good, Good to see, see you. you. you too. Here's Zach Pastora from the Kansas Hi. Sierra Club. Zach, you've always come to our Days of Advocacy and Education. Right. What happens in this space for the policy briefing? So here in the auditorium in the morning, we'll be having our policy overview, which we'll talk about the hot legislative bills uh, that are 
paragraph play also discuss the do's and don'ts of lobbying. Mm, excellent, thank you. I think we'll also be sharing, you know, some overview of the day, you know, how, where, how you can get around and helping you connect with other people on that day, like Zach or Carrie, who you just saw outside, who can help you get around. So the policy briefing lasts, what, about an hour? Right. Right, and it's a great opportunity, lots of room. We ask you to come and um, learn about all the topics before you go up and talk to your legislator. So Zach, I'm pretty sure I know who my legislator is, but I know that there are some people who don't. So is there a kiosk or something around yes. here? Can you take me to Absolutely. it? Absolutely, right awesome. out the door. All right, let's go. You bet. All right, we'll go slow so you all don't get too car sick on the, on the video there. Yeah, good, that's a good point. If, if you're uh, coming up to the Capitol and visiting with your legislator, you might want to know who that is. Yeah, you want to know who they are, definitely. So over here, oh, look, we have Cassie Reimer, CEP <laughs> board member. Cassie, I was just thinking, if I don't know how to find my legislator, what do I do? They, the Capitol has two great kiosks. If you can run your uh, cell phone, you can run this kiosk. So if you come over here, there's a find your legislature, legislator button. Go ahead and tap that. Um, if you know your senator, great, or your representative, great. If you don't know either, you'll have to look up both. But for now, let's do our senator. And it will bring up a, a map of the state. And I'm, um, I'm in Grant County, so I would be a click on 39th District. And my senator is John Dahl. And it tells me even where his office is, 235E. That means it's on the second floor on the east wing. Now, let's say you're from um, the Kansas City area, and it's pretty populated up there. So you can push this plus button to zoom in, just drag, and you can click around to find who your senator is. Now, you want to find out your representative, go back to find your legislator and then do the representative side. And again, there are more representatives than senators, so again, you might have to zoom in, especially if you're in a large city like Wichita. Um, another tip is that if you can't figure out your legislator from this, uh, you can always go to, I think it's openstate.org, and uh, you can type in your address and your, it'll pull up both your senator and your representative. Um, my capital tip is that the capital is set up in a cross. So there's a north wing, south wing, east wing, and west wing. So if you're ever um, feeling disoriented and you're great at your cardinal, direction, cardinal directions, then you can figure out your way around. Um, if not, ask somebody or just look at an office close by you and it might say, 235E, which means you're on the east wing. Um, at this kiosk, there's also a capital directory, and it shows you right where you are right now, that you're near the women's restroom, which is helpful. And it will also show you stairs, which you'll figure out in a minute. But again, just remember north, south, east, west. That was really fantastic, Cassie. I'm so glad that we had you. <laughs> show us this. I, I didn't even know all of the functionality of this kiosk and um, yeah, it's a really powerful little tool there. So I feel like I already have more information than I started with. Um, I want to mention too, if you're like, this is even maybe too much for you, the people just to the other side of this at the Welcome Center are very helpful. They're obviously not there right now. They must be off helping people. Um, but typically they would be there and they can help you. Um, so as Cassie said, yes? And if you're curious, so you want to take a visitor's tour of the Capitol mm -hmm. to see the sites and the renovation and the history, little, l know a little bit more of the history, you would check in here at the visitor center and they would lead the tour at, at the appropriate tour times. Yes. And I've never done it. I have. It's you gone. can go all the way to the very top, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You can go outside. Top. Yeah. yeah. Really exciting, but it doesn't. I think Susie, who is recording for us, doesn't like that idea because she's here's a really handy welcome center employee, Joe. Oh, hey, Joe, we're Hello. doing a live stream to try to help people navigate the Capitol. So, Joe is super helpful, he's like Mr. Helpful Capital. Thank so, you, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you have any tips for people if they come to the Capitol and they're not sure what to do? 
oh yeah, they can check in at the information desk and we've got guided tours or we can set them up with a self-guide. If they don't have the time there, they can look around the building on their own there. So. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> all right, so there are friendly faces at the Capitol all the time, right, Cassie? Everywhere yeah. you go. So as she said, the restrooms, women's here, men's is over on the other side, and oh look, there's a man <laughs> standing there who I know. <laughs> Here is Bennett Magnuson, Executive Director of Kansas Appleseed. We work with Bennett and Kansas Appleseed um, through our Kansas Health Foundation work uh, with Integrated Voter Engagement and Health Equity Partnership Initiative. So Bennett's just a super fantastic guy and he's also, their organization is also sponsoring Wealth Day. So Bennett, I am directionally challenged. I'm not like Cassie and I don't really know my cardinal directions and I always get a little lost when I'm at the Capitol. Like in particular, how do I find the stairs? Yep. Do you know yep. how to I can help you with that. Okay, yeah. great. So it is, it's a little bit of a maze, but there's some, some tricks. Let's walk slowly, so, so Susie keeps up with us. Right. And one thing to point out just real quick, if uh, it's raining that day or cold and you have a jacket, there are some uh -huh. uh, hangers, places to put your coat so you don't have to carry it around uh, for the rest of the day. There's a little bit more on that side. Yeah, tip. good point. Thanks for that tip, Bennett. I hate having to carry my coat around, <laughs> so especially, you know, Coat, bags, water bottles, cups, pens. Okay. So after you pass that, you'll go through this long hallway here. Uh, there's some uh, photographs on either side that talk about the history of the building. Some really fascinating uh, historic uh, photographs and some artifacts from when they were originally building the, the Capitol building. Um, on your left, um, if you need to sit down, uh, meet with some folks, or uh, there's some vending machines back there too, um, in case that is useful. Okay. Um, but otherwise, we'll keep walking past the... Oh, you get me, let me do it for a while. You walk up with Bennett. All right. Okay. I'm going to put Susie in the, in the camera here for a while, so Susie and Bennett will give us the We're way to the stairs. For the magic staircase. Magic staircase. <laughs> magic okay, staircase. carry on, guys. All right. So you walk through the long hallway with the photographs, and then you will notice a very helpful sign that oh. says elevator. So if you are looking to take the elevator, follow that. Um, you'll come to this part of the labyrinth. Um, and then the elevator. As was mentioned before, oh. the uh, Capitol building is set up north, south, east, west. So this elevator will take you up uh, to the northwest portion of uh, each floor, all the way uh, to the top floor if you need to. Okay. Four elevators total. Is that right? There's the, the two. Mind. All right. <laughs> we'll let you know. And there's okay. the, that one beautiful historic elevator, That's, too. Yeah, the candy phone. Oh, sorry. Kind of feels like Hogwarts. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. So um, we are now back at that long hallway. We just did a little detour oh. to see where the elevator was. All right. Um, so you'll keep walking away from security a little bit more, and you will see a photo of John Brown uh, mm. with a quote about the crimes of this guilty land, and that is your cue to turn left if you want to take the stairs. John so Brown is the cue to turn left. That's right, left to okay. John Brown. Take uh, left there. Oh, okay, why couldn't we there use the go. elevator to Just get up there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bennett, I'm gonna ask you to hold my stuff. So, Susie is going to talk to us about what her tips are for navigating the Capitol. Um, there are a lot of stairs, so if you do like to use stairs, you have that opportunity. <laughs> but if you don't, there are several elevators around. So um, The other thing is, it's just an amazingly beautiful building. If you haven't been here, Bennett talked about the art. So um, you might want to make some extra time just to look around at the artwork in the building and then the artwork that is in the building. <laughs> because the renovation project that took 15 years uh, really um, they put some really nice craftsmanship into it. Awesome. So Bennett, assuming that you took the elevator, would you come out right here? This is where you would come out. Okay, fantastic. All right, I feel good. Um, okay, I'm gonna hand this back to Susie and we're gonna flip around. Okay, so here we are. Man, I'm thirsty after walking up the stairs with a camera. And one of the things that, that is really important when you do any kind of really strenuous day is to stay hydrated. So again, bring your water bottle, That's right. drink. There are water fountains around, but it's good to take a breath sometimes and drink some water. 
Absolutely. Stay hydrated. And it's also handy to bring your own notebook, right? So you can take notes. So right now I'm going to take a quick minute and make sure I covered everything on my list for today. <laughs> so I think we're doing pretty good. Oh, you know what happens on this floor <laughs> is this is the second floor. This is where all the main activity, this is the first floor. Yeah. This is the first floor, not the second floor. Um, <laughs> this is where all the main wealth day activities happen. And so um, some of the exciting activities we have right after the policy briefing are um, forums. We're gonna host forums every 30 minutes on the wealth topics. So water, energy, air, land, transportation, and health. And so if you're really excited about energy issues, we're gonna host a wonderful dialogue where you can get a deeper dive into it. So you can have your questions answered or maybe even make a new friend who's also interested in that, um, in that uh, topic. And then, so those will be going throughout the day. And then let's go this way. Um, Cassie, help me remember, where is the lunch gonna be? Which side? Well, I think we need to go up to the second floor. Oh, right. So, right, so the <laughs> stairs. Here. Okay, so we have to keep going up. No, I think nope. here, we oh, here we are. Here we are. Are you on the first mm -hmm. floor? Mm -hmm. okay. We We're are. On the first floor. Yes. Okay. Okay, so hey. Hey, how's it going, Jessica? Good to see you. This is Jessica Mouse, the executive director of the Kansas, Kansas Alliance for Wetlands and Streams. And we had Ruth Redenbaugh, right? Uh -huh. Did I say that right? Yes. With Metropolitan Energy Center. So, uh, interestingly enough, both Metropolitan Energy Center and Cause are going to be sponsors for Wealth Day this year. So handy that you guys were sort of standing around today. <laughs> so what's going to happen in this space? Well, this is where all of the booths are be will be set up for all the sponsors for the event on Wealth Day. Um, and right underneath the rotunda, if you want to come with me this way. Don't go too fast. Susie's walking with the camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, so the, the gallery area where we'll have our booth set up is right underneath um, the beautiful Capitol Rotunda. Okay. She's gonna go up. There we go. It's lovely and echoey. <laughs> and this is also where the cookies will be um, in the afternoon. So yes. Um, so we have lots of exciting sponsors for Wealth Day this year, and as Jessica said, they will have booths set up all around the rotunda. So if you can just imagine this whole space absolutely full of advocacy organizations and environmental education organizations ready to talk to you and answer any questions you have about their work. If I have a lot of interest in water energy or water issues, Jessica might be the, the person I would go to see, right? Mm -hmm. Or if I'm curious about energy issues, um, I might go talk to Metropolitan Energy Center. And I'm pretty sure the Sierra Club's gonna be there too. So. Zach here is, again, always a really handy face to have. He knows his way around the Capitol. So we'll have the Solutions Showcase, what we call here, um, in the middle. And if you look on the floor, which I don't know, it's going to be hard for you to see, or maybe you can do that. There you go. <laughs> so there's um, north, south, east, and west, which will show you each wing. And the lunch will be in the south wing, I believe. Yes. yes. And the... Um, the, what do you call it? Forums. Forums, excuse me, will be in the north wing. Yes. And if you get here on Wealth Day and you're not sure where to go, you can ask any one of these nice people. Um, and we will also send you lots of information about how to get around. So I'm going to ask Susie to come closer. And you say, everybody come together. Let's come together. Jessica, come back too. Um, so. I want to ask, does anybody have any tips for like when you come to the Capitol, maybe the first time you came, or anything that you could share to help people feel like this is their house, they should come here? Yes, uh, the state library is on the third floor. They have computers, they have a copier in there if you need to make some copies, um, 10 cents to print. Uh, also on the third floor, very important, snack shop, oh. so you need a snack. <laughs> Very good, okay. 
Um, and then my tip would be that on the third floor as well, on the west and east wings are the, the Senate and the House. Um, so if you, um, if, I think it's a great opportunity to go into them. I think, do you have to go to the fourth floor to go to the gallery to be kind of go above um, the, the main floor of each of the House and Senate is on the third floor. So go to the gallery on the fourth floor and it's a beautiful view to, to go in and look, look over the whole building and look at the art on the ceiling. And Excellent. Thanks guys. Rose, do you have any comments? Another tip is before you come is to look at your election board and find the location of your senator and your representative. And that will be a number followed by the south, east, west, north, uh, so you'll know, you can orient yourself to which place it is. And then the number will have uh, 100 something will be the first floor and, and so on, so that you can meet directly with your own representatives. Okay, I'm gonna zip over here to Jessica. <laughs> Jessica, you were just telling me the first time you ever came to the Capitol was? Was last year at Wealth Day. And um, thankfully somebody was, was able to walk me through it beforehand. But I will tell you one thing she left out. Um, and that is my tip for the day. Wear comfortable shoes because the stairs, <laughs> you'll be going up and down a lot of stairs and, and the Capitol is a big place. So I recommend wearing comfortable shoes. Good one. I always wear comfortable shoes. It's like the first order of my life. Um, I might recommend also not doing a live stream video while walking upstairs. That was a little bit more challenging than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, so, you know, one of the things that I know people get a little nervous about for Wealth Day is actually visiting their legislator. I know um, it can be a little intimidating. You might think, what would I have to say? Why would they want to talk to me? So we do help people, if you're, if you're in that boat, we can help arrange a uh, meeting for you with your legislator. Um, we can also ask somebody to be advocate support to go along with you. So um, Zach, I know for years you've acted as advocate support. Cassie, you too, right? Do you guys want to stand close together and, um, and give any tips on visiting legislators? Uh, sure, yeah, I think uh, visiting with your legislator just think of it as uh, visiting with your, your neighbor or someone like that. Uh, maybe someone you don't get to talk to very often, but these are people that are supposed to carry your voice and your opinion uh, of your, of your uh, area up here. So uh, just give them your honest opinion. Uh, be polite, professional, and uh, try to get your message across. I would agree. These are people from your hometown or home area and they've been elected by you. And so even though it's in a beautiful building and they're in a suit or a dress, um, just know that they are you know, at home in jeans working right alongside you. And so I take this opportunity just to introduce myself even. And so that way, anytime I email them afterwards, hopefully they, they, they know, and I'll even say that when I introduce myself, that. I will, you know, I care about these issues and you may see me contact you about some of them. Okay, I'm going to come around this way to you guys for a minute to remind everybody that if you come to Wealth Day, you should invite your legislator to join you for lunch, right? So the, one of the exciting parts about Wealth Day is that we have an absolutely fantastic catered local foods lunch. It's delicious, yes? Yes. 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 And um, it's free if you register um, RSVP before, I think it's March 9th, we'll put that detail in the comments. Um, but it's also free for your legislator. So if you are thinking you'd really like to have maybe even more of a dialogue with your legislator than just bopping up to their office, invite them to come and join you for lunch. Um, it's a really wonderful way to have a more informal conversation and also if there's you know 15 people from Ulysses that wanna to talk to the Ulysses representative, you can all kind of have one little table together. And we'll have that whole area set up for the luncheon and there'll be tables and be just fantastic and great. Um, the other thing that happens after a very long day that I think Jessica alluded to is the cookies and conservation conversation. It's a little hard to say fast, <laughs> but it's a really sweet way to end the day. What was that again? Cookies. cookies and conservation conversation. conversation. I have to see it in my head to say it. <laughs> 
Um, and at that time, we're going to have a scavenger hunt drawing. So one of the other things we're doing this year to try to make it more fun is um, to have a, a basic scavenger hunt so people can learn more about the capital and learn more about the organizations that are here. Um, so different organizations are donating items um, that will raffle off or will draw um, winners of the scavenger hunt at the end. One of them I know is a trip down the Kaw with the Kansas River Keeper, who is a really amazing human being, and that would be a lot of fun. So uh, I think, you know, I looked through my checklist, super hydrated, have some great friends and friendly faces around, shoes. comfortable shoes. <laughs> I dressed in layers because that's also a smart thing because it can be a little warm in here with a lot of people in the room. Uh, so does anybody have anything else you want to add before we sign off for the day about Wealth Day? Nope. Just ask. <laughs> Just ask somebody if you're not sure. Yes, okay. Well, I'd like everybody to come close together now so we can do a great big Wealth Day sign off. So we'll see you at Wealth Day, and thanks for helping us lead the way to a clean energy future. <laughs>